Hello, I'm the Review Reviewer. You review it, I review you. This is my partner, Mr. It. Well, now is a hell of a time to be a FNAF fan. Help Wanted 2 just got announced, and we got teasers for not just Security Breach Ruin, but also the long-awaited movie. So, this Summerween just so happens to be the perfect time to cover this Patreon request of our buddy Xandrew's review of Random Encounters FNAF the Musical. Five Nights at Freddy's The Musical is a video series later compilated into a half hour long video from the YouTube channel Random Encounters. That over 10 years. Yes, I double checked this time. I still don't know how he didn't know. Have made musicals based on anything video game related. From titles like Pokemon, Minesweeper, Bendy and Dick Machine. Wait, Minesweeper? How do you make a musical out of that? Nobody knows how it works. And I pray I don't get a copyright strike using their footage and music because that's more scary than a jump scare. I think you're fine. It's all original music, and I should hope these guys understand the concept of fair use. Then again, one of our angry video game nerd reviews got claimed by Cinemassacre, so who knows. And already we're off to a great start with the change in scenario. As the team on Random Encounters takes the story about a security guard trying to survive killer robots with the possessed souls of murdered kids, and puts the twist on it asking, what if the guard was overreacting to normal robots just trying to help him out? If they were normal robots, I don't think they'd want anything. Nine ends as another employee named Purple Guy. AJ, I'm AJ. Yeah, following the actual lore wasn't exactly their biggest concern. By the way, how are you getting so many hours? You're scheduled four more nights this week. What? Yeah, I know, right? You lucky dog, you get to work for that extra pizza dough. I, I envy you, man. I don't. If I didn't need to eat, I'd rather not have a day job. Did I mention this review was Patreon sponsored? I will say, the song's pretty good by giving us a unique scenario never been done before, that people who've played FNAF wish they could have done from the start, get some weapons and break some haunted bots, which now makes me wonder if this was the inspiration for the Willy's Wonderland movie. Not likely. But his singing for me is one of the two surprisingly nice highlights that's displayed in these videos that I really love. You bring the fur, I'll bring the fight. Admittedly though, not the best song to highlight this. The police arrive arresting him, only to escape their custody, change his hair color, and hide in his home from the cops for attempted murder. Some say he's still on the run. Oh! Uh, uh, hello? Is the uniform still the same? Um, I think the better question is... Uh... Why do you still have the old one? No, the real question is, why do you have a purple phone? Don't get me wrong, I understand why you're using it here, purple guy, but did you just have that lying around? I tried to move on and just forget. But YouTube ad rev isn't all that great. Did I mention this review was Patreon sponsored? Link in the description. But all that ends as a mysterious box appears that introduces the most terrifying thing I have ever seen. Good lord. What, behind the rabbit? It is the rabbit. Don't worry, I'll save you. I think that's the only time that sentence has ever been uttered. Where does he live? I think the better question is, Bonnie, how do you know where Mark lives? Employee records. As our guarded bots make it to Mark's house, okay. What are your secrets, little bunny? I think we found FNAF's new jump scare. Another terrifying spring trap moment. How are you scared? You can't see anything. No, it's fine. I didn't need to sleep tonight. Or ever again. You dare use my own words against me? He's still in the building, but without his wiring active, I have no idea how to shut him down. Is he actually made of spring locks? Yeah. Spring locks tend to fail when they get wet. Let's drown him in the toilet. That's a really crappy idea. I mean, if all else fails, we could at least have it as our plan P. I voluntarily choose to hang out with this person. I don't know why. Chica luckily finds one, as well as the mean green machine. You mean Shrek? Drop the rope and release my murder group. That's right. It was AJ behind Springtrap the whole time. Really? It was Purple Guy, you say? And his reason for doing this? Money. Yeah, turns out his plan was to scare Mark and Nate off so he can get the night shift. So, essentially a villain plot of a Scooby-Doo episode. 
Hell, even Scooby-Doo villains don't go to this much trouble for something that petty. For crying out loud, it's Mad Pat in a bear suit wielding a chainsaw, technically a hedge trimmer, flamethrower with a crazed stare, happy-go-lucky smile of murderous intent, and maniacal laughter declaring our heroes will become victims. Otherwise known as an average day at Theorist HQ. My personal favorite moment is seeing Springtrap's head on the floor with smoke coming out of it, as if a spirit finally leaving as the pizzeria is engulfed in flames. That rabbit's dynamite! Overall, this is a pretty good look at a silly little video series. I'm the Reviewer Reviewer. You review it, I review you.